But first, we are heading into the summer holidays, which means we're going to face more split oh. drinks. Oh. <laughs> or even spilt drinks. Split. Yes, split drinks. <laughs> Muddy carpets, oh, stop stains, it. No. you name it. <laughs> Luckily, it's summer. our oh. Queen of Clean, Lizzie Crombie, is here to save the day. <laughs> what do you got for drinks. us today? <laughs> right, OK, oh, yeah. yeah, so summer season. And everyone always says to me, when it starts heating up, the house starts to smell a bit more. What's We're that? going to talk about that, Alison. That what is, is a drain what? snake or a drain Ooh. weasel. These are just epic. Oh, to um, because you things. think you think your house is clean until you stick that down the drain. Are you serious? And I mean, even in my house, I pulled some rubbish out. But I cleaned a house last week, and OMG, what, what I so pulled you just out stick and the it smell. Down <laughs> and you're so satisfying. Oh, it was so satisfying. I'm going to get one um, of those. But yeah, look at that. So this is me and my friend last week cleaning oh the house. Oh my god, look how much stuff and is in we, there. We used a couple of sticks. Where do you what do you do with it though? Well, afterwards. you just obviously clean it. Do you but just the wash hair it afterwards? And the gunk, yeah, you can't wash them. Yeah. I want to get one of these. Just, just go in the bin. Yeah, they're a couple of pound, but obviously can reuse them. But it's just super satisfying. Where do you get these from? Where do you put them up? Amazon afterwards? or somewhere. Um, you just clean it up with a tissue. Oh. But okay. sometimes you get all the hair and it. Oh, oh it's just so good. And I've got two girls. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah, so that one is. Really good. So that we'll, we'll talk about drain. So that's great for the drain, kitchen, bathroom, anything like that. So if you can get one of those, get one. Yeah. Um, and then the bicarbonate soda down the drain as well, which I'm sure you've seen before. Yeah. No, no, no. Help me. I don't know what you're you talking about. So you just get your bicarb, yeah. you put it down the sink, yeah. and you put it with just boiled water. You don't put it with vinegar. You'll see people on TikTok and that chucking vinegar with it. Don't do that. They cancel each other out. Okay. So it doesn't work. So just so bicarb. That goes in with boiled water. Yeah, and it's a deodorizer and then... bicarbonate soda. Does that clear out the muck as well? Or? Well, no, well, it'll, it'll flush it out. OK. So it'll break it Put down. it in your washing machine as well, bang, so you it can. doesn't... If it's God. really bad, all the gunk starts coming to the top. So your bicarb goes down there. Down the plug hole. And then do you leave it a while? You just leave it about five, ten minutes, boiling water, and if it's blocked, it'll go glug, 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 and it's really satisfying. Lovely. <laughs> If right, it's clean, you don't get nothing. Um, we've got bins as well. So bins this time of year, ants, flies, wasps. If your bins smelly, you're going to get everything mm -hmm. in the kitchen, basically. So what so you do? I've put got a little bit cotton of balls yeah. and an essential oil. Drop a few drops onto a cotton ball. Pop that in the bottom what of your bin. What a idea. You can Underneath also do bicarb. Yeah, and then just leave it in oh, there. Oh, and but it smells delicious. Good idea. You can put the bicarb in there as well to soak up spillages. And then just put that in the bin. Yeah, pop it in. Put it in there. And do that like... Oh, that smells lovely. Which one's that? Oh, it's really good. Like really really nice. nice. Like a, uh, it's spearmint. a spearmint. Oh, it's oh, it's fresh. Oh, but yeah, having a fresh smell spearmint. like that, it's really, really good. Bicarb good as well. Great to soak idea. Up, um, thing. But it's simple. It saves you buying the expensive items that you can get on the market. These are just things you've got in the kitchen. Now, smelly shoes, tea bags. Oh, really? What? Right, Stop yeah. So foot, if you've got a, a child that plays football or rugby or something like that, those boots can really, really stink. Mm. Yeah. So tea bags in, um, not used, obviously not a wet, soggy one. Leave them in overnight and they're going to absorb those smelly odours. And what honestly, a great tip. it works, trust me. Jake did the Duke of Edinburgh last week, come back and stunk. The poor kid was lost in the fields. It was awful. <laughs> I was trying to track him on my phone. My child's dead. Um, so yeah, the tea bags came Honking in very handy trainers. when he got in. <laughs> Some trainers honky, really honky yeah, ones. Could you put two in? Two in. Could you put yeah, two, two in? in. And, and then these, if you want to, you can make Jake's a cup of tea trainers. for your bestie with it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, these aren't Jake's. No, not. Jake's trainers are that big, right. trust me. Um, or dry hair shampoo. So if what you've does got, that do? Again, it's like talcum powder, a little spritz in the trainers. It's going to, again, it's going to clean, it's going to soak up those odours. Yep. So these are things I that you've got in tips. your house already, you know. And you can take, like, your tea bags on holiday for your smelly flip-flops. Great! So we can go on and on like that. Um, pet beds. Yep. Pet beds, this time of year, they don't all fit in the washing machine. Hetty's got a nice pink one, a bit big for the machine. Take it outside, let the fresh air on it, or get a steam cleaner and give it a blast with some steam. This isn't oh, plugged okay. in. And that's just going to break down those odours. It's going to make it smell refreshed. Because if your pet, like, bed or towel smell, yep. the whole room can smell, can't yep. it? So yeah. you don't want that. Obviously, fresh air. And then carpet stains this time of year. You might have a stain that you think you've dealt with, um, but the sun hits it through the window and it starts to make it smell a bit more. So use a product like this with, like, a brush head. These You've are brilliant. These I ones. use these. They're so, so good. And then just, just really deal with it, get that smell yeah. out. White vinegar as well. It will smell vinegary, but it will disperse very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, and, and it will just stop it, because you don't want that festering. For me, this, this is brilliant, though. I it love literally it. comes up straight away, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, comes up. It even yeah, gets your so red wine good. out, so if you're a bit of a red wine one. Uh, and then your washing machine as well, your white vinegar in your washing machine. Yeah. Chuck it directly into the drum. Put it on a hot wash, 
Um, or so you can white wine vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to break the machine in the process. Um, um, but that's good to show because the tray, you can take that out and soak that in a bowl of water. That's exactly water, what I was water. doing, it, of yeah, course. Head of the game then. When are we going to talk yeah. about the trays, I thought yeah, to myself? So there we go. Luckily, so you can give that sorted. a spray with some bleach spray or something. It's his thing. I never understand what what I should put I, in. I tell you, this, this is, is a whole new this show. This is the softener. The yeah. little yeah. one is and for the yeah, softener. Got that. This is for the pre-wash. Yeah. And this is for the full wash. So you can put a little bit of powder in this yep. one okay. and a lot of powder in that or one. Or you can for put the your stain wash. remover in as well. In the pre-wash or, or your the other white one. vinegar in your pre-wash. Got it. Thank you. So there's lots you can do. But I think it's a whole different item. Yeah, it is. We can do the item on trays that I've been petitioning for some time. Right. <laughs> Alternatively, you could just put the washing powder in, in the there. drum. In the drum. New which, one for yeah, you. Yeah, which does work really well. Right, stains. We haven't got much time, so we'll go through these quite quickly. So we've got grass stains. Um, this yeah. time of year, really common. So that was what I was showing earlier. The white toothpaste yeah. is great on white shirts and grass stains. So if you've got cricket whites, get your toothpaste on it. There's bicarbon toothpaste. That's why it Should works. Should you leave it for a while and yeah, then scrub it, it in, the thing? leave it cold water, never hot water, um, and then rinse it. Obviously, there's products you can get on the market. So we've obviously got the vanish here, which is a powder format. Yeah. You good? can just pop that. I love the little scoop. Yeah, was it was a good the vanish. It is really, really, yeah. really good. And these Dr. Beckman Glow White. Not sure if you've seen these. So it's like a big white tea bag. But if you've got just whites, chuck that in the washing machine first of all. And what does it do? Just pings. Everything pings. White. Oh, I need white. this. So school shirts. If you've got a child at school, you don't want to buy new ones because they still fit. That's what you Is need. Is this what we were talking about for trainers earlier on? No, but that's not a tea bag. No. No. So no, 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 no. Don't earlier want... on before oh, yes, we came yes, on the show. Yes, yes, yes. So if you want to wash your trainers. If you've got trainers. plain white particular trainers, mm, get those. Come on, let's try and get through okay. everything. Right, okay. uh, hair shampoo, collars. So if you've got collar marks on your shirts, hair shampoo, Great rub idea. it in, that works. Um, smelly socks like this, really, really stained. Good old school washboard. Look at that. Amazing. Taking us back to Victorian times. But you know what? Old school's always I like best. It though. Bit of washing up liquid. Yeah. Rub it like this. And then you put it in the washing machine. And then you can do it. Or yeah. just rinse them, hang them on the washing line, yeah. come up lovely. And you the lemon Underarm to turn stains. Up. So Here we go. those horrible underarm, they get crusty. Half a lemon, bicarb, cut in half, rub that in, Love leave that. it. That'll Literally work. doing everything. It's like speed dating We've cleaning. Got, so, we got um, fake tan, one of my biggest questions at the moment. Oh. White vinegar, liberally spray it all around, or hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Fake tan on the toilet seat. That what? is my daughter's all the time. I go in there, lift it up, there's a bum print, fake tan. Um, so you can use a cream... I mean, just give me more use... questions than answers, oh, no. but... You can use a cream cleaner like I've got here, or you can use a magic eraser. Have you seen a they're magic eraser They're before? brilliant, they're brilliant. They are super good. that last one? And then this last one here is sun cream, another popular question. Um, so white vinegar, liberally spray, or you can get this product here called Amwami. Amar, I can't pronounce it. I don't know what you're talking about. Wowie. Um, that one, and that Lindsay, works really well. Well it's done, darling. Mind <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, still